Hi, my name is Steve McNeil and uh, I'm the product manager for 45 Drives. And uh, one of the questions that I've been asked by some of my uh, customers with direct wired stornator is, does it get really hot? Uh, what are the temperatures inside? What are the thermal properties of the unit? So we decided to run a little bit of an experiment here. And what we have is we have a Omega HH501DK uh, temperature reader with four thermocouples. One thermocouple, our T1, is here and it's actually the ambient temperature outside and then the other four are strategically placed inside the unit. And as you can see, the ambient temperature T1 is 24 degrees Celsius. Remember that's Celsius everyone. So, and if we want to do Fahrenheit, uh, that would be 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, basically the first temperature, the first probe is here in the middle and the second probe is here in the end and the third probe is in the motherboard case at the end, right? So, if we look at the ambient at 24, um, it's been running for a while and it's stabilized. We go, it's 29.6 degrees Celsius or 85.2 degrees Fahrenheit, um, basically here in the center. And basically switch it back to Celsius and we go to temperature 3 which is by the inner fans and it's 30.6 degrees Celsius or 87.1 degree, degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, in the motherboard chassis itself, the final temperature, it is 30 degrees Celsius or 87.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Basically, we're looking at about a 10 degree Fahrenheit change, approximately 10 to 12 degree Fahrenheit change. And in Celsius, about a five to uh, seven, six to seven degrees Celsius change. So basically in a warm room, which is basically 25 or 75 degrees, we get a, a, an increase of about roughly 10 degrees Fahrenheit inside the unit to the external temperatures. Um, this would be far warmer than most server rooms that are in, but as you can see thermally, this thing cools it very well.